is it mandatory to perform wudu after a bath for performing salah? As far as is it mandatory to perform wudu after you perform ghusl to perform salah? There are two types of ghusl. One is a ghusl which is fard for removing the janaba, that is removing the ceremony, removing the ceremonial impurities, whether after a sexual intercourse or after the menstrual cycle. These are called as ghusl which are fard for removing the ceremonial impurities. Now, when you do ghusl, which is fard, after a sexual intercourse or after a menstrual cycle to purify yourself, to remove the major impurities. According to scholars, when you remove the major impurities, even the minor impurity is removed simultaneously. So if you are doing a ghusl for janaba, after sexual intercourse or after menstrual cycle, which is the fard ghusl, you need not do wudu to perform salah after the ghusl. Your wudu your, when your major impurities are removed, even your minor impurities are removed, you need not do your wudu. But if you are doing an optional ghusl or ghusl during Friday morning, which is mustahab, which is encouraged, or if you are feeling cold and you are having a cold shower, or if you are doing a normal ghusl, at this time, this is not a fard ghusl. So the scholar says, because it's not a fard ghusl, it will not compensate for the wudu. Because wudu has certain requirements. And Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 6, that when you prepare yourself for salah, wash yourself, do ablution, do wudu. Wash your face, wash your hands, forearms up to the elbow, rub your head with water and wash your feet up to the ankle. So there is an order that is prescribed in the Quran, in the Hadith, there are certain requirements for wudu. So if it is not a fard ghusl, if it's a ghusl which is mustahab or optional ghusl, then doing wudu is compulsory. Either you do before the ghusl, after the ghusl. If you do not do wudu after the ghusl, then your salah will not be valid because the Prophet said, being in wudu is a fard while offering salah. And if your wudu breaks, you have to refresh with a new wudu before you offer salah. So in this case, if it's a fard ghusl, you need not do wudu. If it's not a fard ghusl, then after the ghusl, doing wudu is fard, or you do before. Before you offer the salah, your wudu should be done. Hope that answers the question.